Hey there everyone, Aaron Spalsbury here at 3X Logic. Today I'm going to be walking you through the new Infineus integration into the Vigil uh, version 10 software platform. So a couple of uh, quick notes for some of you existing users. You may notice over here off to the left, I've got something new. This is the Infineus Access Control integration. But let's start with the basics. I'll show you actually how I added that into my Vigil client. I'm going to come up here to the top, launch into the settings of the Vigil client, and right smack dab here in the middle of the screen, you'll notice there's a new button titled Infineus. Uh, mine is already preset on here, but I'll show you what I did. Of course, you're just going to put a check into this box. Then you're going to go into the Infineus login, and whether you're using our Infineus cloud portal or you're using a local server, and of course local server being uh, the software like the Essentials, the Pro, the Corporate, perhaps it's loaded on a local server there, that of course is where you enter in the URL of said server, but I'm using the cloud version, which of course just logs me straight into our portal. This will then allow all of that information to make its way over into the Vigil client software. But uh, you do have to put in your username and password. Of course, there's a test button here if you want to go in here and test the connection and all that good stuff. But mine's already in here, so in my case, I'll go ahead and just hit cancel on both of these. Now, under the Infineus area, off to the left side here, I've got a number of different things that I can go through. But in this case, I want to actually look at my Victoria backdoor, okay? Now, with the Victoria backdoor, I have a few controls that I can choose. I can look at live video just by merely double clicking on this guy. That, of course, is going to bring up the live camera that is associated with that particular door. But let's say, for instance, I'm looking at this live camera and perhaps a delivery guy shows up or uh, someone shows up and says they forgot their credential. Whatever the use case may be, you can control this door through the Vigil Client software. What I can do is I can go to the door itself, I can right click on it and send that door into a momentary unlock. This door will then turn into a yellow state as you can see there and that means that that door is currently unlocked. It will then switch back to green, meaning the door has gone back to its normal state, in this case a locked door. Now, if someone were to have opened that door, it would have gone from a yellow state to a red state. That means that the door is currently open. So just a couple of quick little uh, key points that we did. We did color coordinate these. Obviously green means everything's great. The door is closed. The door is locked. Yellow means the door is unlocked. Red means the door is open. But I'll show you a couple of other neat things that we can do within the software here. For instance, if I wanted to look at the live events from this particular door, I can come through here and just kind of scroll through everybody that's come through this door, and I've got a few options that I can do right here from this screen. I can either pull up live video, which I already have here on the screen. I can look directly into playback video, or perhaps I even want to just look at a thumbnail. A thumbnail being a JPEG image, just a still image of the person presenting their credentials. But in my case today, I actually want to do a search of an event. For instance, I want to know when somebody used their card, when they came through the door. So let me walk you through that process. Go ahead and close the live events viewer here. I'll come down here to search events and this will open up our primary search window. Now the default in the software, which you can change, but uh, the default is mobile events, but I'll walk you through a few of these. I can look at just alarm events, door held open, door forced open, you know, anything that you've associated in the system, in the Infineus system as being an alarm, we can search by those independently. Of course, mobile events being, uh, let's say you've got the mobile credential, right? We can come in here and take a look at those, or in my case, I want to look at all events. Show me everything that we've got. Now, I can pick what day and time I want to search from. In this case, it's the last day, it's a 24-hour period, pretty straightforward, but we do have the option of using the drop-down in the calendar here. Now, I do want to select a particular door. Since I did do a search event under that door, it has automatically populated that particular door, Victoria back door here, but I want to search for a particular person. So I'm going to click on person here and scroll down to... Oh, I don't know. Let's say maybe, well, where's Scott? We'll see if we can figure out when Scott came through. All right, so I'll go ahead and select old Mr. Scotty here. I will also select an event. For instance, I want to know when he presented a valid credential. So I'll scroll down to valid credential, put a check in that box, and then hit search. This, of course, brings up exactly what we'd expect it to do. It's going to bring up that information here, and I can then do a couple of different things. Now, I do already have the live video there in the background, but we do have that option here uh, on this screen as well. But in my case, I want to see when he presented that credential, so I'm going to go ahead and double-click Playback Video. 
This jumps out to the server, grabs that video along with uh, Scotty's valid credential, brings me into a playback screen, and sure enough, this is the moment in time that Scotty has presented his credential to the door. So it takes us right to that exact second. It's absolutely brilliant and seamless and works exceptionally well. And then of course I can come down here, hit play on the software, and we can watch Scotty go through the door. Uh, needless to say, it is a wonderful integration. It works exceptionally well. Very straightforward controls, very user-friendly controls, very intuitive software. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed doing these for you guys. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.